Ah, good morning, you guys. Um, super good day yesterday. Uh, we talked about how I need to talk to Matt. And I totally did. I'm glad. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of Matt. It was a super easy conversation. It was definitely the point we both totally understood that coming, you know, coming into this, uh, I don't know, like new appreciation and responsibility for our own lives and just finishing work instead of just talking about it and blah, 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 blah. Um, we are putting out a lot more than we ever have, whether it's music or videos or all kinds of stuff. And we really need to both hone in on what it is we're going to be kicking ass at and really like claim those jobs and just hammer them out. And, and it was all, all good. And, you know, in the past, like I can be this like, when I get into work mode, I can kind of get become a dick sometimes, just like robotic, you know, and I'm just, I'm really happy. And I'm sure Matt was too, that I just, a, said sorry for kind of being snappy earlier in the day, but also explained myself. He totally understood where I was coming from. Easy, schmeasy. That's how it should always be with your best friends. So um, I am pumped this morning because there's like this other side. I've been talking about Beta Wave. I've been bringing it up here and there. Uh, so Matt and I, we met because I was making a record. Um, I needed to make a record with somebody. And Matt is an incredible producer, and our mutual friend John Safley, he, uh, we, John and I were working together, and I was talking about how I was waiting for some friends who were gonna help me make this record, and you know, he just basically said, uh, you know, if you're asking for favors, you're always gonna be waiting, and he was like, you should just find the money somehow, get it together, and pay for your own record, and just own that shit, you know? And so I'm trying to not too blown out but uh so i you know i was like hell yeah and he said i have a session tomorrow you should come down to the session and just meet my buddy matt and so i did and i really dug his vibes and so we made a record so 16 days straight we were in the studio together and we just got to know each other so crazy you know and then now fast forward two and a half years and we have literally only spent i think at most uh, eight or ten days away from each other uh and that was because he went on a cruise with his parents. So, I mean, we are, like, are brothers, you know, definitely from another life, you know? And we and we can bicker like brothers, and we love each other like brothers, too. So it's just, you know, I'm glad we're talking it out. But we met, and then after that record, we were just going to shows together all the time, and we were, I don't know, just... All, we had very much the same opinion about what we wanted uh, from our careers and stuff. And so Matt had been running this company called Beta Wave, which in the beginning was intended to be like a, you know, a record label or something. And he asked me to become his partner in the company. And so I was like, hell yeah. I, you know, I trust him and he's such a good businessman and he's such a good human. It was just the right fit. And it has evolved a lot since we first started it. You know, the idea of a record label, eh, it's just outdated and weird. And it just seems like that money hungry, grubby, kind of weird, sleazy, Los Angeles idea, you know, and what we've really realized we're good at is we're good at lots of things and we are good at learning and so As we are running into problems as artists releasing records, we're learning a lot and we're realizing we can help We can help we can help people. We're like a helping company. <laughs> we're I call it a facilitation company So whatever it is if, if you're a band and you've never been on tour and you really want to go on tour We can help you book a tour if you are a band that writes great songs but doesn't like touring and wants to learn more about like the licensing world, we can do that. And and then if if you need help like creating, we can either create records for you or we can help create videos for you, you know? And it's just a really cool thing that we're growing at. And so today we are finding ourselves into a really special place where uh, this great artist Kate Faust was playing a show in Los Angeles for this company, Wild Riot. We brought them up the other day. And I shot, I just was so intrigued by her, by the, the picture of her uh, that, that was on the flyer. And, and I just you know, checked out her music and it was so good. And I could just tell I was supposed to meet her for some reason. And so I went to the show and I brought my camera. And artists that I really love, I love shooting video for them because I, I'm inspired, you know? And the, their music speaks to me and it can move in a certain way and blah, blah, blah. So I made this video for Kate. And she loved it, and then the Wild Riot folks really liked it. Ooh, look who just showed up. Um, so today, yeah, y'all. 
today we were at the like kind of uh, an interesting culminating moment of that where because of that video uh, Brittany the wild riot person uh, started hiring us to do video for her company and then because of that this wonderful human named Kat from a band called Holy Wars which I'll link in the bio for sure or link in the comments and uh, she kept seeing us at these events with our cameras so one day her manager who's a part of a huge management firm um, was like hey do you know any, anyone that does video and her only only and first thought was oh yeah these guys boom call them so we got called and video uh, can get pretty expensive and a mile a very close friend of mine this guy Craig Blake you know he is an incredible cinematographer and editor and he went to school for it and he's a total pro and I remember when we were running with each other all the time I remember him he, he used to get like five to six hundred dollars an hour for camera operation and you know an equivalent five six seven hundred dollars an hour for editing and I just remembered that number and I was thinking well we're new and we're hungry and stuff but if we're not gonna be doing the editing stuff for our own work then we gotta get paid well for it and so I was like we should get 250 bucks an hour and that management uh, the cats manager was like hell yeah she was able to get us 250 bucks an hour for just camera operation no editing just sitting there and filming an interview of a rad band called in flames I had never really heard of them before uh, but they're just this massive Swedish metal band huge all around the world and uh, and they're just really nice guys uh, and, and they write cool stuff so we got to go to NRG which is a really fun studio we might have some cool clips for you guys that I'll throw into this <laughs> shot an interview of them and then today we are finishing the job by going to Howard Benson's house which is like one of the most fantastic American rock producers ever uh, and we get to go hang out with him and shoot an interview with him and then that same manager just recently was hit up by a different manager asking for someone last minute for video work and so right after Howard's house we drive to Calabasas to go to Suge Knight's personal studio or what was his studio it's like where Tupac made all his records and we get to go shoot uh, just some like behind the scenes type stuff of an artist making a, uh, a song so and for that we get paid 350 bucks for two hours so it's, it's just crazy how quickly you can be catapulted into something if you're really passionate about it but also just putting yourself out there man just asking to get paid and asking for a good rate and then doing good work yeah it's pretty rad so uh, we are saddling up right now, and we're gonna go back to the studio, take a shower, and we, then we are headed out to that. So we'll kind of bring you along as much as we can today. But uh, all right, peace. <laughs> This band is probably the, the worst thing that Calabasas has seen in a long time. But uh, what are you gonna do, you know? It's what we got. Hey, come on, it's okay. It's okay, come on, come on. Yep, all right, we're gonna jump into this really fun interview. I'm super stoked about this. I wandered to his house, I'm probably gonna steal some shit.
deal. So uh, as far as working with them, there's really no problem. But technically, it's definitely a bit of a challenge and a good challenge because the music always turns out great. So you get this great combination of catchy lyrics and melody with really, really, you know, musical guitar, bass, and drums. Ooh, we just finished that Howard Benson interview, and not only was it the easiest thing ever, like we probably shot for 30 minutes, but he ended up being the sweetest, like the most brilliant, like total nerdy, crazy guy. But he ended up like spending another 30 minutes after that just talking to us about all these like old uh, vintage electric pianos and organs. It was so great, man. I totally realized that uh, we gotta go over there one more time and make like a bunch of content for this guy explaining all these organs because he's out of control. He's like a little kid. Oh, 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 oh. You know, just explaining all this stuff to us. And so his manager and him both, I uh, just mentioned like, hey, we should come back and shoot like an hour of footage and make it into like 10 pieces of content. And he was totally like, oh yeah, we can totally do that. So hopefully that happens. But now we're on our way to shoot number two. Um, so yeah, starting off in the morning with the Howard Benson thing, and then going to Tupac's studio, even though he's not around anymore, or at least we don't know he's around anymore, and then finishing up over at Steve's to, you know, get paid for the first video we did, which was rad, and then also shoot a whole bunch more for the next video for him. Um, and also it was just perfect timing, it was so perfect, there was this really like heady guitar player there. And he was playing one of Steve's guitars and talking about how great it was and asking Steve all the right questions and stuff. And just, uh, it's, it, was, it was very good. So hopefully we have a lot more days like that. It's crazy what you can get out of life or for your skills if you just ask. If you like set a price that's fair and that is worth your talent and just get, get paid, yo. It's crazy. A whole nother door is opening up for us in this world of making videos for people. Um, so another storyline for you guys to follow, I guess, and as we're learning how to navigate that, hopefully we get to tell you guys a bunch about it. But uh, solid ass day today. Probably gonna head back to the RV in a little bit. We are supposed to go hang out with our buddy Sean, and so hopefully that happens. And uh, our friend Ari, like a bunch of our Burning Man camp, which is a few bar in town. So good excuses to make Sean hang out because it's sometimes like super hard to get him to hang out. So um, all right, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>